I have found you to be extremely skilled at uh, marketing, branding, and it, it's it's not until recently, uh, because you and I did some stuff together, right. that I realized she's really good in an operational uh, aspect as well. And it's because if you can define your operation in a way that distinguishes yourself from the others, it gets a little bit easier to market and figure out oh, exactly does. how to and, market. And it actually is a lot easier to do business. You know, too many businesses operate day to day, but market on a uh, kind of feast or famine fashion. And if you market day to day, as well as operate day to day, your business is going to do extremely well. It's the bottom line. You have to integrate the two together. And um, your book, Me, Myself, and Inc., Mm -hmm. that actually talks about the fact that it's all one thing, man. It it, is. Well, you know, with Me, Myself, and Inc., it was my own epiphany probably 20 years ago now that uh, work-life balance does not work. It never has. And especially if you're an entrepreneur, there's just no way. And 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 first of all, I just thought it was ridiculously funny that you're pitting your work against your life because it doesn't work a part of your life, right? right so it's right. really about your life. And so that's when I looked at the me, myself, and ink, and that's who you are. There's three aspects of you. There's the one you share. That's the me. There's the myself, the one that's yourself, you know, your individual, and the ink, which is that professional business you. And if you start looking inside at who you are and how you want to be and how you want to achieve, um, a lot more can happen because you're looking at the whole instead of the segments of, you know, your life. And very powerful things happened. And, and that's what that and, book was all about, showing how you can basically synergize who you are right. and be all that you can be. Right. Yeah. yeah. It, it really it really is just a, a clear definition of my life. I mean it, it there is no separation for me. <laughs> you know, there you know, I have people ask me all the time, do you take vacations or do you you know, when do you take time off? I it's all together. I might take a vacation for three hours in the middle of the day and smoke a cigar, <laughs> but then I'll be back at it again, you know? Well, and that's the key. You know, it, once you get that, there's no guilt. That's the thing that Absolutely. I, I can't stand about work-life balance is the guilt factor. There's such guilt, or there's that you have to take something away to make it all balance, yeah. right? So screw that. You know, let's let's talk about synergizing who you are and, and bringing out the best in you for everybody else. And, and <clears throat> you know what else uh, this represents, in my opinion? Opinion is the future of retirement. Retirement is no longer sitting on the beach doing nothing. It's doing what you, you want know what to I do. like to call it. I, ca- I like to call it inspirement. That's what I like to call it. You know how I love to make up words, yeah, right? I, I know. I know. And, um, and when you and, make them up, everybody says, oh, that's great. When I make them up, they say, that's not a word. <laughs> go go to Webster's, right? <laughs> uh, but no, seriously. I mean, you know, I have I have uh, two different clients right now that are in their, like, third career. Um, you know, you've got people in their 60s and even 70s starting businesses, right? Yep. So, yeah, retirement is, is really old school now. <laughs> really that's interesting. Is. Yeah. Well, now, the book that I read, I don't read a lot of books. Uh, you know, I listen to a lot of them right, when I'm riding right. the bike, but but uh, yours I actually read. Well, thank you. It was great. <laughs> Marketing Secrets of Growth Companies in a Down uh, down Economics. Yeah, right. Uh, it, it was a great book. Thank I, you so much. It was, you know what it did for me? It sort of allowed me to rethink how I approached and reviewed other businesses, mm-hmm. you, you know. Oh, thank it, it you. Really, That's great. It was, yeah, it was a it was a wonderful insight into how you help people with their marketing. Mm-hmm. Talk about the inspiration of that, because well, it, the inspiration in that was um, twofold. One, um, I had already, I had done a study after um, 9-11. Um, called the Chris Principle that looked at comparing high growth um, companies to negative and low growth companies, and found that there were certain things that no matter what industry you were in, these companies were doing that they were doing the triple and double digit growth. And then you fast forward to the Great Recession, and I was shocked that there were no books out there uh, discussing how to navigate this Great Recession as a business, and everyone was assuming, you know the you know, the doom um, in certain industries. And so I went across the country this time. The the original study was um, just in the southeast. But then I went across the country and talked to companies across the United States and specifically in industries where everyone assumed, like real estate, construction, you name it, um, you know, there was the demise. And I was finding double and 
triple digit gross, and, and they were doing exactly what my study had right. had stated. And so I basically picked the top fifty things that um, that uh, really stood out to me, um, and 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 divided them into basically six sections in the book. And 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 so that's what inspired it. It had to get out there because uh, it had, and, and and it was really meant to help. Help businesses do it themselves. Yeah. I mean, every single chapter, it's not just, oh, here's what you could do. It's also how, how you need to do right. it. And I take a lot of pride in that because and, and uh, I want to help businesses that would never possibly hire a consultant. That was right, my right, goal. Right. right. But, right. You, but you also help a, a guy like me see how you got there, how, how your mind was thinking through that process, you know? Yeah. That's what I think was so, so great. You are an excellent writer. Thank you. Um, your next book is the prof- of- profitability quotient, and, and actually, I've got two books, but the next one coming out is the profitability quotient. And what's that going to be about? Give us a little um, tidbit. That's actually based on again, you know, I'm I'm very research based. Our guest knows that, <laughs> and um, and uh, I it's it's it literally about sustainable growth. And what I'm looking, what this is really about, is sustainable organic growth in a company. I've actually monitored this. I I have what's called a sustainable growth model, and um, there's four different what I call quotients. There's the intelligence quotient. There's the emotional quotient of a company. There's the velocity quotient, which is a new um, a new th- way of thinking. And then there's the profitability quotient. And the um, profitability quotient, you can't I have can a high level. I can tell there's going to be a lot of new words in this. Oh, quotient. heck yeah. I love it. Don't you love it? You know, I, you know I, I love to inspire new thinking to empower positive change. That's yeah. my mission. So, um, so the profitability quotient is really about, uh, you know, there may be companies out there that have have profits, but they may not have a high profitability quotient because they're not they're not leveraging those profits in the right way. Um, they're not reserving them. They're not um, sharing them. They're not um, reinvesting them. They're not building value with them. And so, but you're not going to be able to do any of those things if you don't have a high IQ, a high EQ, and what I like to call a high velocity quotient. So it's very exciting. It's very it's it's it's, it's something that's not out there. And you know, I love to put stuff. Stuff that's not out there um, to get companies and uh, owners thinking, um, how can I take my business to the le- next level? What am I missing? Because I feel like that's my mission to help entrepreneurs see what they're missing. Yeah. Um, so that's prob- I'm very excited about that. that, that <clears throat> you, you know, you probably summed up exactly what I think you do best. You do find those voids and then describe a way to, to work through them. 